Hey you guys, welcome back today to another Sunday special. The shoot today is gonna be actually super crazy cool. I'm in LA right now and there's a lot of background noise, you know, mind, bear with me. There's construction in front um, and just a lot of stuff going on. I'm, I'm currently, I woke up a bit bummed out because last night, um, one of my drives crashed and it's like a new, a new drive I got this year. It's not even old at all. I didn't have the chance to have a friend help me record clips for the channel or for today's episode. So most of it's gonna be a voiceover. Um, but I wanted to come on and give the quick intro and everything. And let's get right into it. A different like architecture and such a different feel like it's very kind of like Spanish you know um, and everything kind of feels like old and historical a little bit but not like old like grungy like gritty like New York more like you know like you're on vacation in a way out here and it's lovely and the colors and stuff so I wanted to use that in her images while keeping it very editorial style You can already see I'm, I'm pulling out the my 51.2 with a crack. Uh, that was another blow. I had to drive down the Costa Mesa and leave it at the Canon repair store yesterday. Not only like the same day the hard drive thing happens, I had to dish out a couple Benjamin Franklins to get this bad boy repair, repaired. I mean, I guess it's part of the business. Like if you were to, you know, have a, a car situation, you needed a repair. It is what it is, but. Um, so yes, so next time you see my 50 in one of these videos, it will be repaired and be calibrated and working fine as new. I, I'm, the lens has been working pretty fine, but you know, if you know me or I guess you're getting to know me or any of that, I tend to overthink a lot. Um, and I got that paranoia going on. So I start wondering like, you know, is it fully calibrated? Like I want it to be at the best top tier. Let's say you just hold it right there. It's already recording. So just hold it. No, you don't have to hold anything. Okay. Just like, you know, just look around a couple of times. Get some BTS. Oh, that's what you mean? Yeah, yeah. I was like, I don't know what the hell you're telling me. You just gave me a camera. <laughs> Thanks for that. I'm like, wait, kid? Yeah, yeah. So I can do a voiceover and be like, yeah, oh, shooting this. Ah, that's good. Thanks. <laughs> Damn. That's good. For the last look, I really wanted to to use this kind of this like mound of grass in this house. It kind of looked like something out of Dr. Seuss. It was very like artificial looking. I'm um, not sure how they did that or if it was. It seemed like artificial grass a bit, but that was like a big patch of it, I suppose. Um, and it really allowed us to play with color scheme first off. The nice like. You know the, the, the nice, the nice combination of greens and yellows and it's like blues in the back, um, but also just even more with the angles because already standing on that kind of mound, that like you, you you're really able to kind of get lower, get closer, play around with that. And I even started popping out the flash for some of these. Like the sun started coming down a little bit, I saw a good opportunity to throw in a little bit of flash in there, mess around with like with like um with like the the background sky a bit as well and i, I really like how how the flash came into play on she some of tight. these in front of the fence shots and taking into account like nice. be next to or parallel to that palm tree in the back i feel like can speak volumes yeah. um and it was kind of like a nice um or like a full motion juxtaposition per se
if you if you guys are wondering where I got this nifty device that I'm using to light up some of the videos, some of the some of the some of the some of the that I'm using to light up some of the looks. Um, I purchased this on eBay a while ago, and I left it here in LA. So I just had it here when I came back. And look, it's quite strong actually. You can change it different colors. I mean, it's hard to tell, I guess, but it changes like a ton of different colors. It's actually very like good quality, and, and the brightness is pretty intense. I recommend it, and I'm I'm pretty like critic of a lot of these products and stuff, especially on YouTube and everything. But this one's really good, um, and it was like forty nine dollars or so. Carrier case comes with a little like controller and a charger. But yeah, I'll put I'll put the link if you guys want it. Like I always say in these videos. The point of these videos is to bring a valuable and insightful comment to to you guys' table. Um, put it right on your plate. So like I always say, um, please comment, you know, let me know what else you'd like to see. You know, if you think these videos are getting better, if they're being helpful, anything, you know, you feel maybe uh, something nice to leave or whatever it is, leave it below, leave a like, hit the subscribe. I appreciate all the love. Um, like I, like I said last month, I upload a new episode every Sunday and there's some cool things coming up. So hopefully I'll keep seeing you guys and see you next week.